That's right. Good evening, everybody. The city says the goal is to get homeless into shelters like the ones behind me. Here's what yesterday's Marathon City Council meeting will mean. Starting in 87 days, J.C. Mize will get a visit from police telling her she needs to move to a shelter or face a fine or jail. What are you going to do? What can you do? They got to have shelters that's available and they got to have more assistance that's available. I met her and all her possessions in a driveway off Main in downtown Las Vegas. How long have you been on the street? A little less than a year. Under the new ordinance, homeless like her will not have to move if shelters are full. The ordinance takes effect this Sunday, November 10th. The mayor tells me what happens next. Immediately, starting on the 10th, uh, we'll be out in the neighborhoods notifying. We've already begun the process of putting up signs. Some are already visible in downtown Las Vegas, and more are on the way. After Sunday, there will be a two-month grace period. The penalties will kick in next February 1st. 2020. Over at the ACLU. We don't think that there's anything that will come out of this that's positive. Executive Director Todd Story tells me the group may go to court to stop the measure. So with that, we are looking at our options. The city says it crafted the law to withstand legal challenge. The Ninth Circuit struck down Boise's measure because it did not offer homeless indoor shelters. The shelter offered here will be both indoor and a safe space at the outdoor homeless courtyard. The ACLU uses that may not be good enough. And they have a mat on a slab of concrete. That's not an indoor shelter. I expect we, we all have some legal issues with this, but we're not frightened of it. We know we're doing the right thing. The legal fight may come. For J.C. Mize, her fight is another night. How's that experience been for you? It's a struggle, but I'm a survivor, so. Living out in the open. And back now live here in Las Vegas. Once again, penalties kick in next February 1st. In Las Vegas, Jeff Gillen, News 3 Marie, back to you.